In this video, we're reacting to Let's Game It Out's final Satisfactory video. I used trains to create absolute mayhem in Satisfactory. So I'm a little excited to finish this series because it's been hilarious and I've learned so much about the game from y'all. So let's just get into it. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing Satisfactory today. My favorite factory game that's... Oh gosh, I totally forgot that he did that. So he wrapped water all the way around his tornado just to power that sucker. <laughs> How long has it been since my last video? All about excess. Like you could build a normal factory, but why when you can make abominations like this? And then when this base gets completely out of control, you can slide your way across the map and make something even more wild. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> It's all coming back to me now. But that's really the beauty of this game, is take something and make it beautiful in your own way. Like, it gives you stuff like drones, which are used for transporting items, or you can make hundreds of them, slap explosives all over them. So I have a question, and this just came to my brain. Uh, and by the way, I read all of these comments, by the way, every single one of them. I may not comment to them, but I, I read them all. So which is more efficient, okay, having a train of drones go back and forth and drop things off or have actual trains make laps around your map to, to move things around, which is more efficient. And are they used for the same thing in this game? And then send them all across the map and pretend you're in Top Gun. Watch your six. Oh, and also I sent them all to try and land on one platform. So now they're just waiting forever. A beautiful <laughs> column of drones into the sky. Anyway, welcome to Satisfactory. Welcome to Satisfactory. I'm excited. I'm excited to see the end of this beautiful playlist. Where everything in my base is a mess. And in this video, we're going to try and make that better. Spoiler, we're going to make it worse. So our first major thing we have to do is find a way to get all of these resources from this base and we're gonna move it over here to something new specifically these beautiful floating pla so okay that that was a little bit of a trippy transition is that just across the hill or is this an entirely different biome that's very far away that was a pretty clean cut platforms i mean look at all the lush landscape here we've got platforms to put stuff we've got waterfalls and we've also got all kinds of flora to destroy gosh this place looks so nice you keep i just keep forgetting how how good looking this game is. It's like unnecessarily good looking for a factory building game. Hey, who said you could grow in my new base? But don't worry, we have a tried and true solution for that. <laughs> what do you think of this tree? Ah, uh, much, oh, <laughs> much better. And I haven't forgotten about you pest. Things just explode with that. Leaves. Everybody gets a piece. Oh, but there's so much of this to take out. That's okay, I think I have a solution for how to take care of this stuff quickly. It's called explosives. First things first, we gotta do a quick test. I realize this doesn't seem like it'll pack a punch, but it should be enough to take care of this little old tree. Here goes nothing. Yep, that sure worked a tr <laughs> Just no, no crumble effect. It just disappeared. <laughs> so if you were to do that today, uh, would that still happen? Is there an effect for a tree blowing up nowadays, or does it just like just disappear. Treat, didn't it? Well, I think we know what needs to happen now. We gotta put these things all over the place. There's plenty to go around. You know, I kinda have to wonder, is this overkill for one plant? Like, I could just walk up and do this to all of those. But who wants to do landscaping <laughs> with their hands? Anyway, I'm sure that this will be- That's very true. If you've done any sort of landscaping ever, you'll learn that it's either one of two things. You'll either love landscaping or you're going to absolutely hate it more than anything. And it translates to everything in your life, even video games. Enough. We've got explosives in pretty much everything. Too many? No such thing. And it's not just up here either. We've also rigged everything down here. <laughs> these trees are going to be no match for all these explosives. Oh. Anyway, here goes nothing. Mother nature, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, take that, all you individual little bushes. Uh-oh, did I miss one? Just kidding. <laughs> oh, see, now this is what progress looks like. If by progress, we mean combusting everything everything not nailed down. Yep, that'll about do it. I mean, you wouldn't know. It looks so cool. Necessarily, no. Because it turns out some of this foliage is permanent. But that's okay. Anyway, now that we have all this emptied out space, it's time to bring our stuff over. Starting with our oh desert my gosh. base, because it's closer. And it keeps so that just answered my own question. The desert base is very close to where he was. That wasn't just like a clean cut and he traveled hundreds of miles. It was pretty clean. So you're wondering, what are we going to do with all of these drones? Are we going to use them for beautiful transporting? And the answer is no. Oh, that is such a cool effect. Man, he's got such the coolest ideas 
for camera angles. Oh, what I'm trying to say is this thing is like a monument now. So there's no way we're touching it. That and honestly, it doesn't matter where in the world you are. All you need to do is look to the sky and there's drone Tasia just waiting <laughs> for you. So you're probably wondering if not the drones, how are we gonna transport all of this stuff? Because oh boy, is there a lot. You know, like these things and these things and all of this stuff. But don't you worry, the solution is right in front of us. It's called a tractor. So versatile, so bulky. And we're gonna use it to get over this ridge right here. And it's not not gonna be as easy as just hopping in and driving this thing over everything. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's pretty good at handling some of this, but we can't possibly ask it to handle all of this, can we? Wait, or can we? Easy, easy. Just watch your head, buddy. Nope, I take it back. We are nice and stuck. And it's not like we can just start it even closer, because there's no way it's gonna be able to traverse all this stuff. But that's okay, we're gonna employ the use of another friend. Do you remember these? Jump pads. Here's a refresher in case you don't remember. That's it. They launch you. But the one thing I don't know for sure is if we can use trucks on these so let's give it a shot and find so wait why i clearly i missed something why is he obsessing over using a truck to get there he just walked there there's no way a tractor can move all of that stuff find out here goes nothing Oh, well, shiver me timbers, it does work. Well, this gives me an idea. If we can get it to bounce off one like that, then why not more? You get to set their overall trajectory, and you can adjust that any way you want. So if I move this so that it's basically gonna land right here, and then I take another one, and I place it here, so that whatever's flying off of this first pad will fly right into the air and then land on this one, and then will it bounce up and fly all the way over there? Only one way to find out. Here goes landing on one. All right, let's see if it lands on two. Oh my goodness, it sure does. Well, I'm sure we can see where this is gonna go, right? All we need to do is put a bunch of these things all around over here so that they- But why is he- why is he doing this? They can get us up there. This shouldn't be hard at all. We can just build foundations and then put our little jump pads on these, positioning them in such a way so that we have a good place to put the next one. And then once that one's in position, we just go ahead. It's- I just get so distracted with all of the mess around him. I know he's- he's doing a really good job explaining himself with what he's doing but like i look at the jump pad then i look all around then my mind just like oh man look at this mess it's disgusting how does he do this how does he do that and then i just kind of lose track of what he's talking about set up for the next one we know where it's gonna land and then so on and so forth and okay hold please <laughs> uh, okay hold please Okay, so I was working on these for a while. And oh boy, all the things I have to show for it. So many jump pads. I wish this jump pad business was an Olympic sport because I would definitely get like bronze <laughs> or like fourth place. And it's all powered individually. He just has wires galore. Anyway, let me get to the starting points. So you can experience the whole thing as it was meant to be experienced. So here's basically how it works. We get in this truck and then we go down to this first jump pad. And once we do that, it bounces up to here and then it goes goes up to here, and then this bounces you farther and farther <laughs> and uh, you get the idea. Will this actually work? Only one way to find out. Let's go! Ha! Mission successful on the first couple of bounces. Leading up to these bounce pads, that should propel us forward. And oh boy, do we have a journey ahead of us. But the good news is my horn works. <laughs> Yeehaw! Well, well, got a little off kilter there, but it looks like we're back on. <laughs> As you can see, this is an exact science. What a lovely new way to experience all the ins and outs, the nooks and crannies of this base. God. <laughs> Look at that mess he just has to traverse. Oh my God, it's going so well so far. Well, that'll teach me to say anything. And attempt number two, much cleaner lift off this time. I have high confidence. It's just, he just gets so distracted so easily. Look how we're landing on each one of those pads. Wee! You know, and you can say what you want, but you sure can't beat these views. Uh-oh, uh-oh, looks like that's oh. it for us. Nope, no, it's not. Oh, it only took two tries, but we made it up. Yep, the system is perfect. And before you know it, we're catapulting across these beautiful canyons. It couldn't be more simple, except for that one that I really didn't think we were gonna make. I would like to take this opportunity to mention that I cannot believe this is working at all. <laughs> well, that's what I get for saying. It was so close. Saying that. Okay, attempt number 553. And then we bounce off the thing and then it's like, oops, so <laughs> it makes it after all. You know, it is quite the stunt if the legend let's game it out is just talking all exhausted. He is so committed to this bit now that he has to do it all the way. Oh. 
Things are going great. <laughs> I don't know this for sure, but I think one of the challenges is especially with a vehicle, it's not an exact science, but also frame rate might play a role in that. But if there's one thing I can tell you, my frame rate is anything but stable. That doesn't mean I'm not <laughs> confident we can eventually get this. Still going. This is the farthest we've ever, never mind. Uh -huh. Oh my God, I think this might be the one. I think we might make it to the next section. Look at all these successful bounces. Life is beautiful. <laughs> I set up all of these bounce pads and for what? This moment, that's what. Look, the finish line. We can see it. Nail it. Nail it. Oh, my God. Are we going to do it? Uh. <laughs> Close enough. Okay. I don't know. For those of you that played the game, you probably realize this. I don't think those are original sound effects. I think he went in and added his own unique ones to make that funnier. Okay, so I think we can agree that this is not going according to plan. And like you, I had a dream of trucks just flying fancy free through the sky. But I think this was probably never meant to be, and I'll show you why. I'm watching this thing from far away, and at a point, something seems to happen. Now, I know from back here, it looks like it's fine, right? Looks like it's just hanging out on something. Oh, but that's not the case. It's just frozen in midair. <laughs> and then as we get closer to it, it just falls right out of the sky. Which leads me to believe that even if we got this working the way we would like it to, there's no way we can automate it because if we step too far away from the trucks they won't keep going and we can't ride every truck to the end oh but don't you worry we've got a backup plan but before we move so that makes a lot of sense actually and i'm wondering if that decision was made because of his save file and how busy it is so the proximity of your character turns on and off specific things in the game just so it looks organic to you but when you're far away the game just saves itself on assets and resources which makes a lot of sense and i say that because you know i i don't know a lick about games developing so i don't really know what i'm talking about but it makes it seems that makes a lot of sense because of what he's been doing in the past move on we got to test one thing we got to test to see what happens when we launch one of these guys what's wrong little guy why <laughs> he knows he's in the corner like please sir my brothers and sisters <laughs> oh no you don't get back here where are you going hey where are you going i said where are you going yes run straight to the bounce pads ah there we go fly free little guy it's for science Oh, it's probably fine, right? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure he's just sleeping all the way down the this tumble. dune. In conclusion, it seems like it worked really well. <laughs> anyway, we still need a good solution for transporting all these materials. And I think this is going to be the solution. It's another train station. Station 25. We can do better than that. Let's see. I want to say sand and successful. Wait, stop right there. Sand cesspool. Wait, still not done. Sand cesspool. Yay, we did it. We got there. So we've used trains before not really to actually transport anything back in our old base we actually have a bunch of trains rolling around right now they're legitimately here solely to generate electricity which causes these <laughs> nuclear plants over here to actually work because if they have no reason to generate energy they won't and if they're not generating electricity and they're not generating toxic waste and if we're not taking steps to ruin every part of the environment what's the point anyway all that to say back over at this base we've never tried to use trains for good i'm not going to miss an opportunity to build a bunch of rails Especially because where we're building them could use a little more beautifying, don't you think? I know I do. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Especially because I know this will be easy to do and take no time at all. <laughs> the two hours later. I'm assuming this is a realistic two hours. Like, he just went out to go get resources, right? Because I'm assuming what we're about to see is just like a train chaos. But it's just going to be all him just gathering things to make the thing. You know what I mean? And connected. Well, that was easy. I'm kind of showing you the end first. Why am here I like we are this? at our station. Why am I like this? Or as I like to pronounce it. Yummy, like this. So this thing here is where our trains will eventually end up. And by that, I mean there are rails <laughs> yeah, everywhere. So. Coming from the station. I'm pretty sure he already had the resources. He just kind of wanted to make it as chaotic as possible. <laughs> Going over cliff sides. Impossible loops that don't really make sense. And then, you know, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> this part probably wasn't necessary to get the Job the bounce done. pads. I wonder if the train... So there's... Okay, zoom in over here. Right over here. Look at this. If a train collides with a bounce pad, will it, like, explode the bounce pad? Will the bounce pad make it move instead? 
Am I about to find out? Am I talking too soon? But boy, it sure is fun. And it doesn't really improve once we get to the main oh mess. Gosh. You can kind of tell which ones for trains and which aren't because the train ones are just a lot bigger. Either way, before we mess with these any further, let's head back to our starting platform and make sure this thing works at all. Now leaving station sand cesspool. I love that you just get to ride your creation. That's so cool to me. The first part of this journey is real obvious and easy. We pick up great speed as we enter the big avalanche of stuff. I like to think of this as the world's weirdest roller coaster full of twists and turns slipping through the rock <laughs> face entirely and in general just a whole lot of completely unnecessary twists and turns but really what would the point be if it were straightforward besides this gives you a chance to take in all these glorious <laughs> views and then eventually you find yourself on the other side and thank goodness there's no clipping because i can just build these rails over oh, rails so what a space cool. saving convenience with probably no consequences whatsoever and then before you know it we arrive at the other stations so obviously this answered my question about the bounce pads it just clearly it went straight through it safe and sound yami like this indeed and if this train were pulling cargo behind it this little claw thing would unload it before the train goes back on its way so let's go ahead and finish this track so the whole thing is one solid loop of amazing cargo management besides you saw how quickly we did it the first time this won't take long at all <laughs> Two more hours. <laughs> and then before you know it, ta-da! You can just hear the tired in his voice. I know he comes back later and does his commentary, but he just does it so well where you can just relate to what he's doing. Track is complete. Excellent. Setting up this behemoth of rails and other oh, crap gosh. only took a mere four you, hours. You can just barely see the ground under it. I mean, you have to look really hard to see the ground right there. Good God. I mean, the good news is I didn't know that this base could get any weirder looking, but it turns out there's always room to improve. So let's pretend you're this up and coming rail car just about to pull into the station. Now you can just keep going and have yourself the return journey of a lifetime, co-mingling with all these conveyor belts in the most claustrophobic way possible. I love possible. it. Wow, what a palate cleanser. Honey, I'm home. Round trip only took 10 whole minutes. What a thrill ride. Now that the train tracks are all set, the next thing we need to do, we need to take all these materials here that are currently just waiting for something to happen to them. And we need to funnel them all the way back over to the train station. So first things first, I'm adding a freight platform, which if we come around to the other side, we can see that it's got ports for us to feed in the goods. That's where the supplies go to get on the train. So first, we're going to build a bunch of these things. Snazzy giant containers. Cool. Now, these two on the right are for receiving items. We're not going to need those because we're only sending stuff out from here, which means connecting this container over to this thingamabob here. And same with the bottom oh, one for cool. basically no reason. There we go. The conveyor belt are running and hungry for supplies so basically previously we had all of these supplies i think i don't know there has to be a stream out there of a guy just building really smart on satisfactory and it's just it's just got to feel so rewarding when you build something nice and it just works on this game it has to feel it it has to feel that way supplies funnel through one belt already, which is this one right here. Instead, we're going to run these supplies over to that container that we set up. There we go. Now supplies go in, and on the other side, they pile out, conveniently going into our cargo thingamabob so that we can more easily transport everything. What a lovely system we've made for ourselves. <laughs> now the next step is we need to add a freight car, like that. That way the train's going to pull into the station, deliver to us some sweet, sweet cargo, and then off it goes for a magical journey. And it sure is hauling ass with that cargo. What a harrowing journey it must be going on and then before you know it here comes our bountiful cargo choo choo quickly use your grippy fingers to take that off my hands and just like that glorious supplies and then the train starts okay so another question let's say he adds like five more cargo trains is there a whole weight system that this train can do like can it only tow i don't know like 10 cargo trains before it's just too heavy to even move is that a thing in this game starts its journey home to get another haul well if one thingy of cargo is good surely more is better right i mean i really, feel like i feel like i'm about to find out how many of these can we add because i'm just gonna keep going until it stops me so based Why? on initial <laughs> estimates, no, there is not a limit to how many train cars you can put on this thing. Like, it's kind of hard to see because it's just more cacophony in here. <laughs> I mean, I just kept connecting and connecting them. And I think I've got like 146 before I gave up because there's a point where I want to keep adding them. But when you get too deep into this stuff, you just can't see anything. <laughs> so I guess let's see how this does. I ho silver. All of this goodness. Oh my God. So it just doesn't care. The train does not care. Slowly pulling into the station and go ahead and load cargo container number one. <laughs> Oopsie daisy, drop it a little forcefully, see if I care. And now moving on to the next one. 
or not. Oh, okay. You're just gonna take the one, huh? Oh, silly me. I didn't set up the station correctly. I selected one load and unload. Not all of them like I was supposed to. Well, it's still not stopping, but I think that's probably okay. And you know, I kind of like the idea of using all of this freight, <laughs> all for just one cargo container, followed by eight bajillion empty ones. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I feel like this is the right way to do it. I mean, he's impressed. <laughs> See? Really impressed. And honestly, so far, so good. It's just slowly making its way downtown. Yeah, just shove that out of the way. It's of no concern to you. It failed where you're succeeding. Come on, come on, you can do it. Push. Come on, pick up oh, some it speed. Does. Would these drones say no? I don't think so. They keep climbing. I don't care that you're pulling eight bajillion cars behind you. I expect you to accomplish the impossible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely the optimal way to be transporting goods. At one one millionth a mile an hour. Strike that. Zero. Are you telling me there were it's too heavy is it it's too heavy to this well this is stupid can't i like get behind it and push or something hey wait a minute this gives me an idea i will just give it a little push with my own rail okay now remember all we need to do is give it a little push watch out help coming through oh <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 it would appear we've caused a minor derailment. I mean, I didn't see that coming. I honestly didn't see that coming. Like, it makes sense why it would do that. I honestly figured the game would be like, oh, okay, we're just adding another trail car. So we'll just, so just, let's just push it all. Let's just push it all in. Keep it going. I love that. This was a... This was it. <laughs> I can't talk right now. I mean, most of it's still on the tracks, and the important part is the head of the train felt nothing at all and is still not moving. What if I send another train in? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Yep, went about as well as expected. Okay, you know what? I have kind of an idea. So this is the thing that's stuck. There's got to be some way to move this. And I think I might have just the idea. Is it possible that we can use jump pads for this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're about to find out. So let's go ahead and put a platform and then a jump pad. And now with this thing ready to operate, all we need to do is give this a little push. This is going to be easy. So all I'm going to do is set up a rail that's going to go right into this train car. And in theory, if we hit it just... Just right it should roll back onto this bounce pad and do a little i am genuinely so excited to find this out it's the first time i asked a question or that where he's actively do going to do it something like this couldn't be more simple but to give this rail some impact we got to give it a really long running start how long you wonder how about a little something like this you know <laughs> something that goes up and up and up and up and at the end of it all there's a train up here just waiting for liftoff we're so high up in fact that we're eye level with our hyper cannon and also so high up that we're up here with the fog where the air is thinner so the question is once we get up there and pilot this interstellar craft how fast <laughs> do we think it's gonna go well let's see down the hill we go okay so currently we're building speed just rounding 200 kilometers an hour still climbing time to collide <laughs> But why? Yes. I was only going at the speed of light okay what if we nudge it a little bit nicer well, that one down there sure felt it. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be oh, the case that this thing can interact with the... I thought it was the bounce pad that knocked it up. Jump pad. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I don't have some other ideas. Like, if we put a ramp right here, what do we think will happen? Well, let's see. <laughs> well, that was pretty good, but not all the way to the other station good. All right, I got one more idea. I don't know if this is going to work, but we have to try. Maybe what we need is to give it a nice little nudge. There we go. We built like a crappy little tunnel. And if all goes according to plan, this thing will sail right inside it. Oh, how I love doing research with giant multi-ton <laughs> death machines. Hey, look, it made it, even though we didn't. Well, that seems to have done the trick. And now we're going to see if we can try something else. We're going to run this rail right through it. And we're going to see if we put a train down right here. If when we drive this thing, we can just nudge it. And oh boy, we sure can, kind of. I think you can probably see where this is going, right? That's right. We're going to build a much larger tunnel than that. We're going to drag it. <laughs> that was that was a pretty clean one. T clean transition. All the way there. Now, we can't do it by hand because the thing has no cohesion. And we can't use the vehicles because that also doesn't work. So train tracks it is. Ah, yeah, there it goes. Just a quick nudge up an otherwise really long corridor. Easy. Come on, I'm just gonna keep on. <laughs> he just has the train just zigzagging. Pushing it. Come on, come on, come with me. That's right, keep on pushing. This is not how I thought this would work, but I'm sure happy it is. And then before you know it, we're at the very end of the tracks. And off it goes. 
I'm sure it's fine. Wow, look at that landing. That almost couldn't be more perfect. This is where it would have ended up anyway. Wait a minute, what the hell is this? How did you guys get in there? Oh, this simply won't do. Now look, I know the cargo basically made it here, but it looks like we've got some cleaning up to do. Yeah, run from me. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed what we did here. There's a lot more to come, but we're gonna cap it for now. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'm about to. Hey, now that you've got some free time, why don't Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. And let me know what series you want me to watch next. Should we go into Hide Your Near or maybe something else or a totally different YouTuber? I don't know. You tell me in the comments. Until then, bye-bye.